everyone welcome back to my channel and today we're out in the yard um so i have been talking about this for a while but finally came so i got my raised bed my custom raised bed i guess from seed sheet so it comes in another bag and then this bag on top so we're going to open it up and on the back it tells you to plant it so if you guys can see it's really sunny out so you just um take it and roll it on the raised bed you water it and then it's supposed to feast. So, and it's supposed to from what, it's made in Middlebury, Vermont. It's organic and no non-GMO seeds. Um, from what I've seen, it's supposed to like regrow itself like time and time again. So this raised bed one with what I picked was $100. Now normally I spend probably around 80 to $100 on plants anyway to plant my planters, to plant in my garden between basil, peppers, tomatoes, jalapenos. Um, so in this one, it's the miniature ones that you can buy, like the red and yellow peppers, um, jalapenos, two basil plants, two tomato plants, uh, regular peppers, I believe, jalapenos, and limoncello sunflowers. So we are going to open it up. And because of the way my bed is, I might have to take this, um, one piece of wood out so I'm gonna see how it's supposed to be four by eight which I also think I can probably cut it in half but let's let's look and see so let's open it and see what it looks like so when you open it up it comes basically like the sheets so it's like the um, stuff that you put like underneath stuff like not to grow the weeds, I guess that's the kind of material it reminds me of. So according to the directions, leave it with the seed. I think you do the seed part up, but we'll look and see if we can find out. You have these little stakes to hold it down. So basically, this is what it looks like. It's a sheet with you can see see the holes with all the seeds in it and everything's organic which is nice because if you buy the organic plants you always pay a little bit more for them but basically yeah so you just lay it down so you kind of figure out how i want it my bed's a little bit bigger so i think i can cut it into two pieces because it goes right in the middle got the hose. Okay, it's really sunny out. So from what I think, I actually either take out a piece of wood in the middle so it lays flat or I can cut it in the middle and do one half and one half which is what I think I'm gonna do because I have a little bit more space that way you know little they're not like overcrowded and you kind of like the barrier in the middle so we're gonna do that and first we're gonna like break everything and then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna use these stakes to put the corners down and then we will water it when she's done. I don't want to run the hose again because the hose actually um, leaks into the basement sometimes. So if you let it run too long, it becomes nonsense. So first off, let's uh, break everything up a little.
little girl. Okay, so I think I am gonna add more dirt. Do you always trust your first initial feeling? Okay, so after reading this, it says that the raised bed, which would probably need four more bags of dirt, um, it needs to be filled to the brim with an organic potting soil. So I did one bag, that's all I had. So I'm probably going to pick up four more bags, maybe later today, and then we'll get it going. But for now, we're just going to fold it back up and put it in the bag. Yes, and tend to her. Okay, this is before we yeah. put the extra. No, yeah. no, no. Oh, no, that dirt doesn't go in here. That's only for the cactuses. So this is before we're gonna add five more pounds or five more bags of dirt before the seed sheets. Okay, so um, as I just showed you, I just got five more bags of the raised um, garden bed. So I'm going to load the garden up and pray that five bags is enough and then add the seed sheet and then we're gonna water it and we'll see the outcome. Drove me like a magnet to the sea. of love change turning the pages and I have changed all but you you remain ageless I turn around and the water was closing Take my centronella plant and kind of just sit it over here but I'm going to show you the overview and then we're going to water it. Okay so here's what they look like. Of course this, the wind just blew this so we're going to have to try to finagle to get that down but so this is what it looks like minus the wind blowing the sheet up. That's the second one over there so I'm pretty sure the two right here are, I want to say those are the sunflower plants. 
And then these are peppers and basil and tomatoes. But um, we will see how it looks when it all comes down. Now to go get the water. So they're all watered. I just put those two flowers there because I am going to repot them over there at some point in time. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to do, but I will keep my instructions because this is something new to do. It says that there are two basil pods, so maybe those are the two in the middle that I thought were the centronella. Um, so it says it should take 50 days to harvest. The sunflowers should take 55 days to harvest. The peppers should take 60 to 80 days. The tomatoes should take 60 days. The mini peppers should take 60 and the basil should take 50. So the funny part was that it's June 7th now. Maddie's birthday's in a month. Um, when you do order this, um, if you plan to do it, it's, I ordered it in, when did I order it? I ordered it in April, so next year I would actually probably order it in March because it does take a while to get it. So, but, um, and they actually do have like a little picture here. I don't know if you guys can see it in the sun, but it says like, so if I'm guessing, because I split up the big rows, so one row is basil, one row is, oh, so. That row is basil, that row is the sunflowers, the tomatoes and peppers are in the middle, and then this line over here is another basil. So they did extra basil. So they did two, there should be four lines of basil. So two and two, and then the centronella. So, so we'll just keep watering and keep an eye. So I do like the fact that the stuff is on there because then it's going to keep less weeds, you know, less weeds, less, um, uh, having to pick at everything and luckily that tomato plant and the basil already planted will kind of like fill it in and then though I have a centronella plant too that I'm probably gonna stick over there because it needs a good trim and I think I don't know if it'll actually last in the pot but for today's uh, thing I'm really happy with the seed sheet so we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it goes and I'll keep you guys up to date on it so thank you for subscribing to our channel and we will see you guys on Wednesday bye